emphasize the subtract command, I'm going to create openings for this door and the window above. I'm going to the XREF manager, selecting the elevation and unloading it for now. I'm going to change back to 2D wireframe mode, zooming in here, creating the rectangle, zooming back out, extruding the rectangle, and the height, I will simply click on the low point here, and I will click on the high point here. I will enter. As you can see, I've created it on the wrong layer, but I can select it and place it on the 3D wall layer. I will now union the solids. And I can also select union. And even though the solids are not touching, if I enter, they become one solid. Solids do not need to touch in order to become one, as you can see here. I will now select Insert, XREF Manager, selecting the elevation, Reload, and OK. I'm going to change the UCS selecting face UCS and picking this face looking at the X and Y axis they're lined up properly I'm going to accept I will now draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner as you can see the O snap marker appears in a different location. That's okay when working in 3D. You have to trust the text that appears on screen. It is currently indicating endpoint, so I will simply click. Looks good. Going to the window above. Rectangle again. From one corner to the other. looks fine. Going back to XREF Manager, it makes it easier when you do not have to see so many lines. I'm going to unload. I have the solids. I will now choose Extrude. I'm going to extrude by 24 inches. And I'm doing this on purpose. I'm going to take the view, select 3D Orbit, and look at it from the top. Changing my UCS back to World, I will now move both solids back into the building, placing it right here. If I switch that shade mode, you can see that the solids are going through the building. I will now select subtract, selecting the solid to subtract from would be this one. I will enter and selecting the solids to subtract one and two and enter. You'll notice that it deleted the entire solid object and it's okay to create solids bigger than are necessary so that you can then create the subtraction and create the openings that you need. You do not have to limit the thickness or the height of the solid to match the existing opening.